I fly her to the ocean. To the ocean. She wanna make love in the water. She see I put in work. She wanna rap out for a zap. She say she got a man, but she wants that out for a zap. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a highly requested video on my Instagram. I posted that I made a cheesecake, and everybody wanted me to do a video on it. This isn't for the vegan community um i'm gonna try to perfect a vegan version of the cheesecake but this is just gonna be a regular cheesecake super unhealthy and um just a regular cheesecake i don't know how else to explain it but anyways okay guys let's get started okay guys first i'm going to be using a um electric whisker you can use a regular whisker or you could just use a electric one like this it's just easier for me i have two and a half boxes of philadelphia cream cheese you can use whatever cream cheese you want to i made sure that i sat it out for a little bit so it is room temperature because it's easier to whisk when it's room temperature other than when it's cold so we're just gonna whisk this till it is a little cool. It's wicks up a little bit. Oh, still not as creamy because you know I was just impatient. Didn't. But now I'm gonna be adding some organic cane sugar. So I'm gonna be adding one cup of cane sugar. This just helps smoothen it out a little bit too. And then I'm gonna be adding a half a cup too. Also. Sugar definitely helps it um, blend a little bit better. Now I'm gonna add like two capfuls, maybe three. We're gonna do three actually. Three capfuls of vanilla abstract. Okay, now this next option is gonna be your personal option. I like to add um, heavy cream. I'm gonna add like a half a cup of heavy cream in here. to add three three eggs when you add each egg you do not want to over blend after you add the eggs that's why it's important for you to do everything before you add the eggs so you don't over blend so make sure your stuff is blended good um, especially the sides make sure you get the sides <laughs> Don't over the eggs, I tell you. I'm going ahead of time just so I can try. You know the last one? Okay guys, so now we are going to be doing a press. Um, I got some graham crackers 
I'm just gonna be um, munching these up. I don't have a lot of rolly thing because we're always throw stuff away and um, act like you're gonna replace it. So just make sure you press this all the way down until it's like kind of not well, kind of powder form, but you know what I mean. Just crush it all the way down. Okay guys, we have this grinded up. It's okay if there's a little bit of chunks in here. We're gonna add um, maybe like a half a cup of butter and um, a little bit of sugar. However much sugar you want to be in there. I don't like too much sugar, so um, however, however much sugar you want. Okay, we're gonna mix this. Make sure we get every dry part is not going to be completely, you know, um, just so it's, you know, it's just the butter. And everything's good. Guys, for your pan, I have this, this type of pan. Um, usually you, you want to, if you want to, like, serve to people, but since this is going to be us eating it, um, it doesn't matter. But um, you can use, you know, one of those pans that you could take off um, on the sides and just leave the bottom. Okay. Then you're going to just smooth everything out. Smooth everything out. I did half, um, one pack of packet of... What is it called? Oh, graham crackers. I mean, I did a packet and a half. I have the uh, the oven on 350 right now. And we're just gonna sit this in the oven for like 15 minutes and then let it cool in the refrigerator until, you know, we're done with the, we're done with the, the batter for the cream cheese. Lastly, we're going to add like a little bit of um, flour. Get out my mix. Just to thicken it and make it all sit together. Well, the eggs do that, but still just to thicken it a little bit. So good. I'm gonna play this too, so don't don't worry about it. But anyways, now we're just waiting for the crust. Then we're gonna make our topping, um, our top layer as the cheesecake is cooking. Okay, guys, here is our crust after it got out the oven and cooled down for a little bit. Now it's time to add the batter. Get all that shit. Get all that shit. Get air that one of that shit. You wanna get all that. All that. Ain't nobody missing out around here. We don't got no type of we ain't got no type of cream cheese. I mean cheesecake to waste, okay? So you wanna get all that? Scrape, scrape, scrape. Feel me. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Feel me. When he hit all that, uh -huh. get that out of here. Get out of here with that. Get out, get out of here. Okay. Now, y'all, this is good as you're gonna get. You feel me? Now smoothing that out a little bit. Smooth that out. Okay, guys. Nice. 
shake it a little bit if you have any um bubbles oh it's actually low key so hot okay so the oven is already at like 315 degrees so this is the important part so make sure you listen if you're not listening right now it's a high possibility that you will mess up this cheesecake and if you mess up this cheesecake don't try to come under my video and talk about i messed up this cheesecake okay so the the key to getting a good cheesecake is um this is gonna take an hour or two okay first the oven's on like 350 right now we are gonna leave this cheesecake in the oven oh wait oh i almost forgot it very important part so um we need the oven to be a little moisturized so we are gonna get a pan like this and we are gonna fill it with water um a bit i don't know sometimes people uh like to if you have a big old pan like you do for like a, a roast and stuff that would be really good to use um but since i don't be making no roast or nothing i don't have one of those so i'm just going to use a regular pan and put it inside of here the oven to be a little moist so make sure you fill that thing with water some people like to put foil and all that other extra stuff but if you just use a regular pan you don't need to even need to do all that but some people do that because um they use one of those pans that you can take off and you know all that other extra stuff but anyways since i don't have that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give directions on how to use that but anyways so you're gonna fill this pan the bottom pan with water make sure it's not going into your cheesecake or nothing because you don't want no water in your cheesecake but it's gonna cause the the air to be a little moist and stuff like that. So that's why we're gonna be using water. Okay, so we are gonna um, have the oven on 350 for at least 30 minutes. And then the next, then the other 30 minutes, we are gonna bring down the temperature to, I wanna say 250, okay? And then, cause you know, you need that temperature drop in order to get the perfect cheesecake after it is at 250 um you want it to bake for another 30 minutes and then turn the oven off leave the cheesecake in there that's important um just let it sit there for another good hour or 30 minutes just check your cheesecake it should be a little bit of um little golden uh brownish not not too golden brownish um but you know you, you know what cheesecake look like you know what it should look like gonna wait and close this up okay guys so while we are waiting for the cheesecake to get done we are going to do the topping so i didn't wash the bowl so i can have a little flavor on it and i have one carton of um this is this is 236 milliliters so um it's just like a little small carton like this these measurements don't really matter it's really up to you going how oh shit how much i feel last time i kind of had a lot so i'm not gonna put a lot in here and then now we're gonna add some sour cream i know a lot of you are probably like ew sour cream but oh fucking well because it make it, it make it good so who cares and we ain't eating to be healthy right now we eat into love life you add a good amount. Now you are gonna add your sugar. Now you can do however much sugar you want. I'm just doing a little bit. That don't look like a little bit, but it's supposed to be a little bit. Okay guys, so as you can see, the texture is now like creamy and like uh like kind of like whipped cream a little bit taste it okay delicious now we're gonna let this sit in the ice box till the cream and cheese is done okay everybody the cheesecake is done we let it sit in the oven for an hour so now we are about to let it sit room temperature for another hour and then we're gonna apply the toppings but it looks like it was a little hot still in the pan a little hot it got a little bit of bubbles in it because i probably didn't 
Okay guys, we have a perfectly well good cheesecake right here, okay? So now we're just gonna be, um, I let it sit for, mm, I let it sit for like 30 minutes. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I let it sit for like 30 minutes. But now we are gonna uh, put the topping on, which was in the cooler. So it was nice and thick and just yummy full. Um, and yes. For 30 minutes or an hour, but you know. Come here. Come walk over here, girl. You, can, you know how to walk, girl. Shoot. But anyways, they call it. Um, our cheesecake is pretty much done. This is the end result. I hope you guys was able to follow along well. I might post the picture of when I cut it and all that all that other extra stuff in my community. So if you don't pay attention to my community, I'm just gonna eat this because fuck it, I'm doing a cheat day anyway, so who cares? It's good to put it in the ice box for, you know, overnight, or if you, you can't wait overnight, at least four hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned how to make your home cheesecake so you can do it whatever way you want to would i happen to go to the store and get a cheesecake because sometimes they be taxing for cheesecake like it's just not no regular cake like you not just put it um cream cheese up in there like make sure you leave a comment and come back to this video if you looked at this video tell me you know how your cheesecake turned out make sure your temperatures are right make sure you know you are just doing your temperature right and you know following following along but other than that make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will be back with another video and also before we go let me know if you guys will like a cooking with golden series on this channel um i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a logo and stuff made so when my cooking videos come on it's just frazzle dazzle and all that other stuff so make sure you leave a comment and let me know but you know, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.